Hello, what's happening everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing Monday. So very happy to be here for show number 2030, 2030 shows as of tonight. Going to be kicking things off with some Wheel of Children. Going to spin that wheel random and see where it lands. Let's hop right in and see where the game takes us. Somewhere fun, I'm sure. But before we do, let's get caught up with all the fine people in chat here. What's up, Cheesy Bob, Minkler, Dr. Rockstar, what's up, Mort, just fine. KRZ. That's good. Slacks time. Floppy. Soaky one. Arbus D3. Hey there, Chungus. Funker, nice to see you. Graven Fear. Malarthy. Dazzy P. What's up, Bica? Hey there, staring themselves. Mr. Schmickles. Dr. Bobby. Sirikin. Hey there, Darkish Abaddon. Sheep of the Night. Cathora. Manti Zaz, nice to see ya. What's up, Bess Randy? Welcome back. Get caught up with your fine support here before the show begins as well. Funker, thanks for nine months once again. Brutal Linguist, thanks for 31. Arbus D3, thanks for 30 months. Thanks for that kind message too. Thanks for those bits, Brim. Radiant Ice, thanks for 21 months. And Chetafine, dropping that 42. You got yourself the answer. Nice. Time to spin that wheel of children. Okay, we're not going to do... I guess we'll do Forgotten. It has been a minute. We had one like three streams ago. Forgotten's a special character which swaps between two different forms. You have this melee form, which does uh, bonus damage with the swing. You can also charge up and throw. Or you can detach yourself and become the soul, which is very similar to the loss, has flying spectral tears. So you have pseudo flying. You'll see me mostly use the uh, the club here. It's a lot more dangerous that way, but I think a lot more fun. Okay, uh, kidney bean start. Those big old charm tears, or charm cloud. So I believe the swings are three times your tier damage. It's pretty good. Oh. Whippity whappity. Oh man. <laughs> Tears up always nice. And we can we can either grab these with the soul or we can reach across the gap with the club. No, not really fair, but I don't find this character to be too easy, honestly. It is uh, much like using an orbital um, to do it. Okay, we're not getting him pushed over. Having the limited health pools does make it harder to, in my opinion. I'm just gonna push this down here so we can um, pop this. Also, let's do that. No, when you're the soul, the skeleton body cannot take damage. So you can actually use it to block shots. So pretty nice versus Hush and a few other bosses, Mom's Heart. Ranger Danger, thanks for 23 months, man. Much appreciation. Okay, buttons. All right, we got our bomb back. Nice. I 
Three keys, let's take a look. Could be that double penny one. It's not. Uh, Salandor, I believe I used a Zazzle to unlock the Forgotten the first time. I'm going down. So the health pools on this character are separated. You can only have six bone hearts and six soul hearts between the two. And if either form dies, uh, your run's over. Nice. Hmm, two boss fights for one gray chest. Not sold on that yet. You're a little bit mistaken there, 78 dude. Let me clarify for you. This character starts with two bone hearts and one soul heart. And every heart container that you get, a uh, red heart container, turns into a bone heart. So like breakfast or um, any of the other just stray health hubs become a bone heart container. something. Let's roll here. Super bandage is pretty nice. I think I'd rather have stats here, though. Let's come back to this in a sec. Actually, I should probably do that so we have enough to take a double deal. If we want to. Keys are good. Uh, super bandage is nice. I'm just going to take this. We can leverage his health into something else. Hey, congratulations, Kathora. Nice accomplishment. Very hesitant to try to go into this double key room. We'll see if we can maybe bomb into it, huh? So all devil deals in this character will be soul heart deals because bone heart containers cannot be traded for devil deals. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. Okay, so our secret room is not off this, that's for sure. What do you do? All right. Definitely want to check our store here with 32 and 6 bonds. The reroll machine, that could be some good stuff. It's fine too. We'll just buy a key here.
Whoops. Oh man, that one monster just blasted that other monster. Out. Dang. Well, we are gonna give up. Um, no. Yeah, we're gonna take this here. Because every time we use the nail, it gives us a soul heart back and allows us to break rocks and rooms. Cool look, kid. Going down. Be back for that in a sec. Oh. Counterfeit penny is nice. There's more coins for all the coins you pick up. Hey, there's that heart back. Nice. So these enemies have predictive shots, the, uh, the turrets here. So if you hold still when they're targeting you, they put all of their tears on one location. Free secret room, nice. Yep, that's gonna back over the gap here is the nightmare room. Epic Fetus, not taking that here. One of the most powerful items in the game, but it's also pretty snoozy. Okay, then. 
well, I like this stuff, but hopefully we get back to this deal. Get that contract from below. Was not expecting the teleportation there. Oops. Empress and Hermit. Well, I kind of want to keep my Sun card right now. Not quite, not stretchy enough. Ace of clubs, okay, might use that. Coupon, huh? Well, okay then. gonna use this in here and then we can coupon in here I think I want to coupon now or wait for a different roll let's get a different roll here if we can get a store that has more than one item it's a pretty good coupon the so coupon makes one item free it's gonna buy this here blue candle honestly pretty spectacular I don't know if it's better than soul heart generation but maybe Um, Chaos, sure. That messes up our God and Devil rooms. It's okay, though. Now let's go ahead and coupon, and coupon, and keep couponing. I'm actually going to buy... No, I'm not going to buy the bomb. Got me there. No clear for a minute. If we can get uh, that for free, that'd be nice. Looking like probably not six rooms left. Let's roll here. We do have chaos. So these rolls should be good stuff. Just to speed up right now is pretty significant for us. Cicero, thanks for that big three zero, man. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Oh, choices. I think I'm going to go a little bit further here. We do have chaos, after all. Alright, Mark's pretty great. That's a damage up and a soul heart. I'm going to take blue candle here. Blue Candle's cool because it does great damage versus bosses. Oh yeah, he does that.
Bobby Bomb, all right. Is the contract still available? It should be. Yeah, it didn't get changed over nice. So we're gonna take contract, which will double all drops. Anytime something drops at the end of a room, it'll be doubled. The nail is nice, so I'm gonna keep the candle. Going down. Nailed it. Using the candles a lot like using Dr. Fetus. Kind of the same, uh, same aiming. Hey, synth oil's great here. It's a nice damage and range. Do you want? Is it double two of clubs? No, two of clubs joker. Interesting. Pretty beefy looking tears there, man. Uh, more correctly, Evil Aku, the uh, flying form or the uh, skeleton form receives a tear to lay down and a speed down. So when you swap to the soul, you receive a slight stat up. Though the. Uh, forgotten form that has the club is doing bonus damage with it so it's definitely over axe or counteracts it Unidentified pill, what do you do? Oh, oh nice shots. We we'll go back for the sun card real quick. Just gonna pop it here, get a map reveal. Yeah, the stat pickups are shared between characters in that case. That was your question. Huh. Might be using a sacrifice room here then.
It's a very subjective question, Mr. S. I'd prefer not to go down that path. They all have their advantages and disadvantages, just like anything else. Well, chess isn't bad. Come on, chaos. I don't think we're a neat little chest here. All right, seven cent fly item. Wasn't what we were hoping for in this store, but it will do. Uh, Sniper Knight, you can also use a mod like Always Hush um, if you want to get there past the 30 minutes. But you have to have one mom heart kill first. Okay, year is alright. Oops. I didn't mean to pop that yet. Duality is actually pretty cool here. I'm going to take this. It's going to bring us to very low health, but... That's all right. this work? No. Soyasama, thanks for that prime support. Appreciate you making it official, man. Thank you. No? All right. Ooh. Yeah, Bomber Boy is pretty cool. Bomber Boy gives us nine way bombs. Could walk back for a half heart container. We're going to move along. Soul Heart's nice here. Ooh. Uh, I'm gonna swap out here. got hit there.
Crispy82. Thanks for an awesome 10 months, man. Much appreciation. Roasted. Yeah, we're going to swap here. Uh oh. Half soul heart is troubling. Charge up here and throw. Okay, hopefully not greed here. Nice. Solhar, exactly what we want here. Gonna take this too, because that's the second piece of guppy. Let's bomb here and see what's up. Uh, we do have duality, so Goathead would give us God and Devil Room every floor. That seems pretty good. Lost one bone heart there, that's fine. It does happen. Right, this guy's getting the sizzle right now. We do have counterfeit penny on the ground too, so if we get our seeker room, probably want to try to figure it out if we can get 15 coins. Seeker is going to be here. No? Okay. Steam cell would be pretty radical. We're getting 15 coins here. I'm still going to grab this counterfeit penny before clearing this room. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bomb these guys, and I think I'm going to Yara in here. Okay, coin tears. So we don't have to hold on to our Yara for as long. And we'll probably have enough to buy two, maybe three items, depending on how this goes. Nice. Recent soul heart, you betcha. And buy one more soul heart here in Lutz. All right, fair enough. No guppy item like we wanted. A full health pill. Well, let's take that and pop it. Nice.
Whoa. Alright, more bombs. You see, most of the bomb items, that's because we took Chaos. Chaos loves it, giving you the bomb pool. And good note here, we are guaranteed a Devil and God room. We're going to be taking the Angel room, I believe. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. It doesn't actually have a preference for the bomb pool, uh, Shinusan, but there are a lot of... <laughs> the bomb items are in a lot of different pools, and Chaos mixes all the pools together, so you're more likely to see books and bombs until they disappear. It's not that you can't get other things, it's just weighted, uh, weighted that way. Ooh. Here. It's fine. That's five more bombs. And what's in the angel room? Okay, a book. Book of the Dead's a nice book. Is it better than the candle? I think not. All right, we're going to do something a little bit uh, dangerous here. Yeah, exactly, Crispy. Multiple entries to the draw is exactly how that works. It is sacrifice time, but mostly because we need to. Cards this, you think. The Devil. With duality, once you enter a room, the other room disappears, so you can only have one or the other. Okay. I feel blessed. Hey, lucky penny nice. That does help. Either coin drop or hard drops here. Fine. Hearts better for sure, especially since we're only at two bone hearts right now.
All right. Yeah, if you have any like uh, sound warping or anything, it's a really common um, glitch on the Twitch players. So I had to refresh to sort it. I'm actually going to spawn Uriel with a soul heart here. Oops. Okay, so now we're gonna get 30, uh, 30 coins or seven soul hearts. Nice, we got soul hearts. If we got soul hearts here, we might as well just complete the, uh, complete the angel battle. Hey, nice Alana Ray, nice cat combo there. Good stuff. Okay. Right, Ash and Fang, if either half dies here, it is the end. Nailed it. I don't know, I am half tempted to take this uh, Book of the Dead. It is powerful for defense, which is kind of what we need. No, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, the blue candle here. Going down. On the Red Angel Ferret Bomb, the hands glow when it's the cross. And any other uh, any other charge will not be the cross attack. What? Telefragged. <laughs> All right, the run's been enabled.
Little haunt's cool. An identified pill does what? Orf, all right. That was scary. The uh, Forgotten was added in Booster 5 um, last quarter of last year, I believe. It's been in the game for eight months or so. The character that has two different forms, the Forgotten and the Soul, you can swap in between. They used to have separate health pools, but are both... Uh, <laughs> If either dies, the run's over. Okay, let's go pop that. Man, this endless nameless is proc three times in a row in that health pool. So that's gonna be honest with you, Mariner. I spend no time thinking about that kind of stuff. Literally do everything on a day-to-day -day basis. It's the only way for me. Yes, cube meat would be very good here. Absolutely. Any kind of orbital does help out a lot. Mm. Yeah, that is two, uh, two syringes. Oh, no need to apologize, Mary. Just answering your question. Quad monster, a regular room? That's pretty wild. Hmm. Cool. 30 seconds of invincibility could be really nice for us. In fact, we have a blood machine back here, don't we? Or was that last floor? I guess... Oh, he blew it up right with a bomb. Oh, he's probably better served in boss rush, too, if we're able to attempt it. Awesome, Phoenix Rising. Congrats on that first loss victory. Huge accomplishment.
Um, I haven't used the Aki's here. Oh, we got it back too. Nice. Because another heart container and 0.3 speed up would be mighty useful if we can get that. Nice. That's the one. That's a crazy set of portals there. health pill again, okay. The endless name is a 25% chance to get back your consumable and it's proc four times in a row. It's pretty lucky. Shops will now appear in the womb. Do want that. We have chaos, so a store with a reroll machine can be any item in the game. I don't know about boss wars. I think we're going to do it. It's going to be sketchy to say the least. Hey, why did you spawn a black heart? That's good. Might as well. 48 hour energy, okay. Telepills, excited. Perks. Shovel, restock, crown, and Mr. Boom. Well, restock's the winner here for items, but it's going to be tough. And through the last enemy killed in the room, uh, Shinisan, blue variant bosses and mini bosses normally drop a soul heart, yes. Excuse me for just one moment. I just need to use the restroom real quick.
All right, thanks for your patience during that very short intermission. We certainly could telepills out, but I generally don't steal since we're using the always boss rush mod. Not to say it'll never happen, but it'd be a pretty extreme circumstance for me to steal from the boss rush. Oh, little ghosts. Fight, fight those ghosts with ghosts. Okay, we did get champion boss rush here, which is nice because that means we're going to get uh, more hearts dropping on the ground. Makes it a little bit safer. I like to look at boss rush as a fun challenge. With the always boss rush mod on, you can, um, you know, you can take on boss rush even with would be considered pretty inferior builds. That's a lot of spoodles. Ace of Diamonds? Okay. Uh, in vanilla with no mods, you need to reach the boss rest door by the 20 minute mark. Actually, up here is better. Or right here. There it is. Okay, gurgles and stain. That's fine. It's champion stain here. Champion stain only summons turrets. He's even going to do that. Hey, there sure is going to be a lot of coins by the end of Boss Rush Nate, and we have restock and stores in the womb, so um, while we haven't seen Super Greed in a store yet, we're guaranteed pretty much two more stores with stuff to buy. Look at these legends today. Monzi, thanks so much for that prime support. DJ Woohoo, thanks for 64 months and recently reversed. Thanks for dropping that 56. Much appreciation, man. Oh, hey, it's Green Bloat. Oh, double sizzle. That was nice. Monstro did us a big old favor there. I think he's stuck.
I gotta say, red moss spine there is about my own personal nightmare, so let's get over here. Cool, got a really nice set for the Algeserins here. Okay. It's a pretty likely, uh, yeah, Forgotten Will. Whoa! I wasn't gonna say Telefrag himself on that red poop, but that is what happened. Okay, I want to try to kill Gish first here. Killing Gish first is going to mean these little girdies will drop a soul heart for us. So whatever boss or enemy you kill last will drop the consumable. So in this case, Blue Girdie is guaranteed to drop a soul heart at the end. Airborne Heart, thanks for 32 wonderful months. Much appreciation. That was a really fun run yesterday, Sir Skills a lot. Glad you were able to catch some of it. We'll see if we can actually pull this off. Same deal here, we can get a soul heart off of uh, Blue Famine. Okay, barely didn't get it. That's fine. Give me that. Oh, I just can't quite reach. Hey, we did it. And we got a relic, which is no uh, no shabby item here. That drops a soul heart every four or five rooms. That's some good sustain for us. I'd say our build's still a bit lacking, but um, that's functional. going down
Oh, you guys got stuck. Neat. Yeah, we'll see how the restock goes here. Uh, we have not eliminated Super Greed as a mini boss yet, so we could have that happen. But we have seen Greed, so it's uh, minimum two stores with restock coming up. Unidentified pill, what do you do? Get whippied and wabbied. Actually, if we eat two more of these, we're going to gain a heart container. This will be our third puberty pill. Get the adult transformation. Nice. Oh, hello there. Uh, I'm going to say double drop's going to pay for itself uh, there big time. I don't want to blank card this run. It is nice. Hoping for a half-off item here. One more. There's one. That's a damage item. Health up's actually fine here. Another book for a bookworm. Cool. Let's say bomb baggy. Probably not. All right, jammies is plus for his soul hearts, but here's our bookworm. Nice. Hey, that's spun transformation. We get 15 coins too. Perfect. The rooms of the spike in the middle are called sacrifice rooms. They have uh, different rewards for different amounts of damage you take per floor, up to um, dropping both of the key pieces needed to open the Mega Satan door. After that hit, if you fight the second angel, uh, if you take any more damage, there is a 50% chance to teleport you to the dark room. Ooh, if you have a lot of extra health left over, they're generally pretty beneficial to use. Okay, there's our 15. I'm gonna run back to the store now because I'm not convinced we're getting another item. Speed up and the spun transformation. That's gonna be a damage and range up. Nice. Jammies is also a full red heart heal, so it could be relevant at some point. Okay, that's how the black heart dropped on the mom fight. We have the virus. And anytime enemy dies from poison, they have a chance to drop a black heart with or without um, Sorry, I had a thought there. Now it's gone. Darn brains, how do they work? Matriarch, hey, hey there though. Let's not do that. This this ma'am is crazy. 
This is one of the weaker builds I fought Matriarch with. I'm glad we have Flying Spectral because this is no joke. Yeah. Get in there. Okay, the worst is over. Yeah, we don't have Serpent's Kiss, so Virus can still spawn the hearts as we just saw. Nice, good amount of money here. Um, this, uh, normally it would take the tier 8 and damage right away, but this is Guppy. Also, that makes red chests or gold chests drop more often. So when we get to the chest in dark room, um, that will be double gold chest or two items every time a chest drops because of contract from below. Good chance to increase our itemage greatly. So Guppy gives us flying, and then each time. We have a tier land, it summons one fly. Flies do a multiplier of our damage. Very powerful. And here's Super Greed. That's awesome, because we're not going to see him in the next floor. No. Awesome. I mean, do I dare? I want to get this Bible out of the pool. School bag. Okay, school bag's legit. School bag means we can uh, have two different spacebar items. Oh, right, got a double tap here to get it through. That's fine. Cool. Pretty successful floor there. Going down. That's a really cool look. Look at that cutesy kitsy man. Perks, half damage from all sources. Probably won't get used here. We'll see. Anything can happen. It is relatively important. We have enough soul hearts going into the hush fight. I might just switch over to using the club here for a few moments. Burnt Penny, no thanks. Dark Z, Triple Nine, thanks for 57 months and a four year streak to boot. Most excellent. Thank you so much for that kind support. Yeah, Perks is very good for Hush, that's true. Between uh, the Blue Candle and Guppy, though, I think we're going to be in a really good spot. Hey, awesome, Jazz. Congratulations on that Forgotten Unlock. It's a tough one. Nice accomplishment.
I shouldn't take this. Our floors, our, our store is already generated on this floor, so uh, we can drop that. And I don't think we're going to want any other space for items. There's some good ones that I've already turned down uh, the blank card. We're probably not going to go past that. Okay, we can grab that on the way out. Where's our store? There it is. Okay, um, a car battery, pretty useful here. My car battery. Angelic prism, yes. Rune bag, okay. And sold. Let's see if we get anything else that'd be worth farming up the rest of the floor for. Eye of Belial, that's the one right there. I can find seven coins. Two of spades? Two of spades is awesome. Nice. Two of spades, two of clubs. Well, we haven't seen secret room yet, which could have money in it. And we have this gold combat room, which we're going to grab too. Yeah, I have Belial is one of the uh, the best tier modifiers because your tier does damage, then becomes a double damage homing tier. Well, that's not money. If we don't get I have Belial, our build's still very fine, but it's worth taking a little bit of extra effort here, I'd say. There's one. Come on, one more coin. One more. Trying to stay at a distance here so our flies don't get the kill and we can get a coin proc potentially. Okay. I would say very likely we get a coin drop inside the mom fight. not there. Let's check here. Okay, it's not there either. Where didn't I bomb? It's got to be below the combat room. Hey, there's our coins. Ooh, black rune too. That's nice. Get some stats off of that. Excuse me. Sackhead in the god room? Do we actually want Sackhead right now is a good question. We're very sorted on consumables here, and Sackhead can transform some of our chest drops later into sacks. I think we're actually going to pass on Sackhead. What a, what a world. Unknown 707, thanks for 30 months. Much appreciation. Going down.
Godhead will be the one. So Godhead gives us uh, auras on our tiers, which do uh, pulsating damage. That's nice. Um, I think I'll take this and this, and we'll black rune in here. Nice, big tier eight down. Uh, blessed GP, your character just teleports onto the other character if you go down using the tether. It just brings the one to the other, if that makes sense. Feed him the flies. Mmm, tasty. That was clean. Okay, grab all these coins. We're going to donate to our machine in the store to keep ourselves topped off. And then we're going... I took Polaroid this time around. That's right, because our build was not good when we reached Boss Rush. Uh, Pretzel, the small difference between the blue and the red candle is that the blue candle does more damage, but you can only fire one flame at a time, where the red candle, the flames will stay on the ground. So, like, if we fire here, the flame slowly dissipates, does high damage the whole time, where the red candle dissipates based on damage. Okay, I'm going to go back and buy sad bombs here, because our sad bombs are going to be pretty good. Also, this demon cat looks amazing. Yeah, it's pretty good. So, Bomber Boy Sad Bombs gives us a nine way shot. Pretty good. Or, sorry, nine times eight. How many tiers that generates? Because Bomber Boy makes our one bomb into nine explosions, and then Sad Bomb makes each bomb into eight. Tear spread. A razor 449. Thanks so much for that prime support. Much appreciation. I do not want to reroll this build. I don't. Change runes acceptable. Oh. 
see how much one bomb does here. Pretty good. Pretty good. Going up. Since our build's already slam chunk in here, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the change rune on the ground and then see if we can have a Yera rune drop off the bag. Probably not, but it could. Uh, nice finds here. Uh, MT, we have a very handy command for that. Exclaim dice. It'll explain what all the dice room do. There's also a small indicator on the actual dice room itself. They have uh, a wide range of varying effects. Dude, this build just looks so clean. Um, I guess Keybanger's fine here. No problem, MT. I still reference that command sometimes myself. I guess fate's fine. Not gonna change the aesthetic. Brought my F game. Thanks for five wonderful months. Appreciate you keeping it damper. Nice. Oh, look at that little happy Steven there. Just happy to be here contributing. Wow, this room twice? Lucky us. Dad's ring and needle shot. Dude, the aesthetic on this build just keeps getting better. Ooh, chunkerific. Um, what does Hamo Lacria look like? It's got to be good. We got five tier eight. I'm taking it. Yep. I don't know if that's going to be an improvement, but it is a big damage up with our build. Oh, that's cool. We have like the blood bone now. When we hit stuff, it, uh, it spawns tears. Awesome. I didn't realize there was any items that could actually generate tears on swing. That's awesome. And yes, Isaac is looking uh, very metal right now. I agree. Pentagram. Seems good. <laughs> Be happy to pop that up on screen for you there. Our seed for this run is BBD8YJ3Q. That's one sad bomb. Also, I just can't get over how clean the aesthetic on this build is. Oh, man. Um, let's just see what happens here. Okay, just once. Oh, no, I took damage. Oh, I got to take damage from something else? Boo. I'm gonna take damage here. Uh-oh. Spaghettios. Yeah, we're definitely reaching tier cap there and then some.
<laughs> Scatter bombs? I'll take this, because now we drop bombs, our bombs drop bombs. Seems good. Um, Mom's eye for regular shots probably looks pretty great here, huh? Yeah. Then we'll use the black rune. Actually, we'll change rune here. And then we'll use the black rune. Nice. Going up. Yeah, I'm not changing this build. It looks too good. Uh, looking at our map right here, I'm going to guess the Delirium boss fight is... Three left, three north, and then left again. Capricorn, that's cool. Capricorn can bring you below the base tier rate. That is correct, they did fix the Megas, uh, Mega Stand fight on the Always Void mod. Ashen Fang, exactly how you think it was. You had Dr. Fetus here. Every bomb we shot with Dr. Fetus would make that effect. Same thing with Epic Fetus, actually. Uh, both of the Fetus items do that, uh, do that there. Okay, I think Delirium's gonna be here. We're definitely ready. It's not. Game's pretty resilient, Pretzel. It's not impossible to crash the Binding of Isaac, but there's a tier limit. So if so much stuff gets spawned on the screen, it will despawn tiers. Oh, okay. Okay. That was pretty good. One bomb delirium kill seems nice. Hey, Raven, thanks for 57 wonderful months during that madness. I do appreciate it. I'm 
GG. What a run. Surprising that happened at only 27 damage, but I guess the amount of tears being spawned here is pretty intense. Olfar55, thanks for 100 bits, man. Really appreciate that. I think that calls for some dapper time. GG. What a great run that was. All right, let's do a run at Greedier now. Classy. Okay, we got Magnet, Book of Sins, and 16 tier rate. Whoa. I'll be surprised if this one doesn't die right off the bat, but uh, we'll see. Empress, that does help. Oh, hey, Caliber, during Dapper Time, thanks for those 100 bits as well. Appreciate that, man. Can't say that I have, Ryan. You get one Eden token for every mom heart kill you get, and most of our runs go to the heart, so we've had several hundred Eden tokens for ever now. Basically, you'd have to, I'd have to lose uh, or not make it to the heart for several hundred runs to lose tokens at this point. So unlikely we'd run out. Okay, I mean, Jawbone's all right. All right, let's see what happens here. We're going to pop Empress for sure. Probably just going to get overwhelmed here at 16 tier 8. There's not a good way for us to, uh, to clear, but the waves could be kinder. That does happen sometimes. Cool, got the Stonies out. Also kind of depends on what this Book of Sin does. I also did most of my other character unlocks before Eden, so we had a pretty big surplus by the time we got there. Whoa. This Jawbone is being very nice. You can also pick up items over gaps with the Jawbone. A nice feature of it. Mm 
Hey there, Fly Spirit Game. What's good? Book of Sins is starting. I'm actually really powerful in this mode. For every key and bomb you get, that's basically an extra five cents. Okay, last wave here. Nice. Hey, Pretzel, little hand to you. Thank you so much for making it official with Twitch Prime. Much appreciation. Oh, here's the hoping. This is a good champion boss to get. This one doesn't jump across the screen. He does have a lot of health, so we're going to have two bosses spawned here. Depending on what those bosses are, we're in pretty okay shape. I should have done the Satan wave here too. I'm half tempted just to buy a health. I don't know. Let's just see what we can do. Aha, yes. Champion Mega Fatty. Oh boy. This is going to take a long time. Raising the Gnar. Thanks for an awesome year. Welcome to that Zoltan life. Appreciate you. is very uh, very doable though just gotta keep moving tough Oh, there's a lot of little poops spawned here. The scary attack on this one is the quick jump, because the quick jump also has random uh, blood creep on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, lucky we didn't get hit there. Okay, lucky there again. Uh. GG. It was a really tough fight with 16 tier 8. We'll just spin it up again. Never go into any run of greedy or expecting to get the victory. That was a tough situation, about as tough as you can get on Eden. 
fact, I think 16 is the highest tier rate you can get on Eden. Ooh, nice stat up. So our low stat on Eden this time was uh, movement speed. It's a lot better start. We have Mama Mega shielded tiers, huh? Maybe I Mama Mega next floor? Yeah, let's do it next floor. Oh, glad I chose that. There's no rocks or anything here. Parasitoid, huge item. Hey, H Master J, thanks for 13 months. So glad you could make the stream tonight as well. Thanks so much for being here. Shielded tiers are good and bad in this mode. If there's a lot of tiers flying around, it can uh, lower our damage a bit. But the upside is our tiers block tiers, and they're much larger frames, so they're more likely to hit. I'd say early game greed mode, uh, shielded tiers are about a wash, but there's a lot of things they synergize well with, including piercing tiers would be the best. Wave 7 here, looking good. Ooh, Spoodabins. Yoinks. What's the wave after this gonna be? Ooh. It's a long wave, rightfully so. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of action there. Oh, boy. Okay, Spoodabin, but your, your orbitals are making it real tough to get you. Focus over here. Okay, we got that chasing spider down, so our life just got a lot easier. You can see when the room got really crazy, our shielded tears were often not to our advantage. Okay. Parasitoid gives us a chance to fire egg tears, and egg tears spawn spiders and flies. Things which do multipliers of our damage. And home in on enemies, so pretty powerful. Oh, okay. I wonder if we're going to get Mega Fatty again in this case. Gotta wonder. Oh, that's right. I forgot Parasitoid can spawn multiple flies on one egg. That's so good. Stuck in there? What are you doing, bud? Parasitoid is a luck dependent item, yes. Though, even at no log luck, it, it procs frequently enough that it's very helpful for clearing. I would say, uh, even more than being dependent on luck, uh, just having higher tier rate is what helps it the most. 
Okay, let's buy this key here. Tiny planet. If I had more tier 8, I'd be so down to take that right now. Is that it? Oh, Lust Pin. Okay. I was thinking if it's just Lust, that's pretty friendly. Okay, we're going to pass on these. Pretty low tier. Nice. Okay, so the next floor we're going to use Mama Mega as soon as we enter. It's going to use a bomb on every room, including the store, item rooms, and um, cursed room. So we'll get a secret room here as well. Okay, that could have been better. Could have been a lot worse. Nice. Speed up's really good. We also have hearts in there, so let's do this. Nice. Justice. Justice, Justice gives us our key. So basically 10, <laughs> 10 heart resource there. Ooh, I like that. Ooh. Double Yera, really? Double Yera means if we can clear our floor, we can get quadruple the amount of coins for this floor. Pretty good. Gotta survive, though. Okay. See if we can get through this floor. The nice part about Tammy's head here is we can use it every single wave spawn. Explosivo. Hmm. I'm not sold on that. I want to be. I think there's any way we can clear this in time. Okay, we're at five out of nine already. Good. Two, one. Get the spawner out of here. Da -da. Explosivo is very good situationally in my experience. And pretty much all items are good situationally though. The problem with the Explosivo right now is our health is so low that self-explosion damage in a crowded room is very possible. Just try not to touch the coins, but uh, I'd rather just not die. I think we only picked up the three coins there. It's pretty decent.
We'll try to stay on this side of the map here. Yeah, I don't think we can afford to take the other Yara down. The build's not good enough to clear the next wave. So we're going to double Yara in this room. And try to do it that way. Okay, too many spawners. Okay. All these bomb flies are very close to dead. Okay, it's actually really important we had this amount of health left uh, at the end so we can reach our other Yara rune without having to buy a heart. Okay. Ooh, you got me. These guys actually could kill if they shoot out the right type of tier. I think they do have a one damage tier somewhere. Okay, we got a half heart in here. Good. You can not max in deeps. It's a good idea, but you can't Yara a Yara rune. So we basically just got like an extra floor and a half worth of coins here. That's excellent. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Yes, do want tier rate and health. Thank you. Actually, a range here is quite good for seven cents. Health, sure. All stats up. Awesome. Thin Shroom does lower our damage, but it's going to cap our tier rate. Yeah, I'm going to buy liver too. That's a health item right there. I think I'm gonna hold right there. More black hearts. That might knit us a heart or two. Aha, of course it's this guy. Why wouldn't it be? I'm gonna take out these spiders first if possible. This guy at different damage thresholds will drop the orbs going around him. I'm going to save the Tammy's head until he is um, mostly exposed so we can get a good chunk of damage in. Cool. Well, most importantly on this floor, we were able to build up a health resource. That is really helpful. Explosivo is looking better and better right now. Let's do it. Explosivo gives their tiers a chance to be a sticky shot, which will expand and then explode on the enemy. Since we're not in a position to be getting a lot of luck on this run, um, it won't become a detriment. 
Where Explosivo is troublesome is if you have a lot of luck and then you're getting a very high percentage of Explosivo shots, and the enemies that jump and teleport drop those, making it very hard to damage. But here it should just be a very adequate damage up, and that is awesome. 50% plus damage, and we got Fun Guy already? Neat. Hey Dapper Rock, good luck with the meal prep, man. Take her easy. Restock boxes always show up, and I think this does work on greedier mode. No paying to re-roll? I don't know about that. Mask Infamy, always a classic chance to negate damage. Let's check it out. Okay, good to know. Basically, once we see an Explosivo tier on an enemy, um, we're free to leave them, because that Explosivo tier is going to finish them off. I would say, on average, uh, Explosivo probably better in greedier mode than normal mode. Though Explosivo has won me uh, more than a handful of runs on normal mode, too. I don't think we need to rely on the sprinkler here. Sprinkler is just a classic way to win uh, a greedier run. So bosses that jump up like Peep here, when he jumps in the air, he drops the explosive tears off. He didn't do it there. Loki's the same when they teleport. It's going to do that. Oh, okay. So the explosive O tier, when Loki did his four way shot, actually absorbed his tier and removed the explosive O. Okay, cool. A uh, coin, coin heart, always nice to see. All right, I'm just gonna move down to the next floor. It's good enough. It does know an assailant, and to further clarify there, uh, no matter the size of the explosive tier currently happening, uh, it does absorb it, so it removes the explosion, but it's overall still effective.
Okay, Mr. Mega is plus five bombs. You know, um, we're already at max speed, so the green syringe doesn't make as much sense. It is two out of three spun, but... Hmm. I'm gonna roll once. That ain't it. That's it. Hey, Stevie. Then we'll use a one bomb for two bombs. Okay, we'll take Chaos. I think we're set up enough for that. Sack of sacks. What floor are we on? Womb. I got Womb Shield. Shop left. Should pay for itself. Shot height, if you get it high enough, will um, make your tears go over rocks. That's it, though. Shot height isn't a dead stat, but it just doesn't do uh, all that much. Interesting. Quite the wave there. Okay, we're at 8 out of 9 now, so relatively safe. It's always going to be hearts available to buy in this mode, so it's going to keep pushing through. Like, jammies would be pretty sick. One more. There is our spun transformation. Oh, not quite, but it is a damage up. That's right, we didn't take the other syringe. Purple syringe, much better for us. It provides damage. Hey, explosive a very nice for mask here. Sticking the tears to mask means we don't have to uh, hit behind him, which is <laughs> very hard with a build like this with low shot speed. All right, shot speed actually nice since we're at a deficit right now at 0.7. I'm gonna save ancient recall for the next floor. And we're guaranteed health next floor, too, so it's going to wait it out. Uh, Hawk MD, that item on the last floor was a Black Lotus. 
spawns three red hearts and a bone heart. Well, it's basically like nine cents plus a bone heart here. So awesome. Let's see what we get. Praise the sun, if only I could be so grossly incandescent. Sun's great because it's a full heal. Rib's probably all right to take here, too. Oh, seven cent godhead. Thanks, Chaos. That's not piercing, but it'll do. We got a major synergy here with Godhead and Explosivo because the aura does more damage than our tears. And we stick a tear to an enemy, the aura surrounding the tear continues to do damage. Probably one of the best Explosivo synergies, actually. Da, da. The aura itself does not block tears of shielded tears, no. Good question. Oh, bloat. Have a terrible day, sir. Is this double bloat? Oh man, they were bloating. In. Oh, that's really cool that the aura size expands as the tier expands there. Don't know if I've ever seen that. Okay, um, I am willing to use my one key here. Why not? Hey, drop another key. Nice. Fair. Use the devil card in the god room because we can. A bone heart's essentially a refillable red heart container. And if you take damage while it's empty, you lose it. All right. I'm just going to hold out here. Seven cent gubby piece is nice, but it doesn't contribute to the functionality of the build. In greed mode, and especially greedier, you want each item you get to be contributing to the overall build, not going for random synergies and things, in my experience. Going down. No, oh, we left our sun card there. That's okay. Is BFF worth it here? Probably not. D8 could be pretty radical, actually. I'm going to buy this for funsies. Three tier eight. There we go. That's what we needed. 55 range 2 is actually really good for us. It's going to stop on that build right there. And we'll buy Guppy's Paw for security. Now we have tons of health. Of spades again, okay. If you're able to clear this floor, you know you're in a pretty good place. Or clear it as the waves spawn. Feels nice. Triacnid.
Um, I think I want the shot speed, actually. Concussive tears are good, though. Yeah, it looks better. Oh, a nice comfy bed. It's tempting, but no. The double damage till we take damage is nice, but we're never even going to take some damage inside the greed fight. Wow. Okay. Telepathy for dummies. Probably going to take that just for the boss. The paw's really nice for security, but... Oh, man. Not gonna help us out too much. Sparkling key counts as a uh, battery and a key as one. The Book of Telepathy gives us homing tears for one room. That room's gonna be the greedier, greed and greedier fight. Octopotamus, what a name, what a player. Thanks so much for that prime support. Thank you. Yeah, you guys are right that God have his homing. I was thinking it was only Sacred Heart. Either way, we get cool purple tears. Yeah, Summer Fragments is right around the corner, Nizzle. No doubt about it. That was a lot of keys he spawned there. Good observation, 78 dude, that there is synergy with having slower tiers with homing tiers. It's definitely the case. Okay, he ran the whole circuit. Good for him.
GG. Pretty cool run. Extreme struggle in the beginning into uh, Explosivo Godhead. A rare combination. GG. GG during dapper time Nazareth thanks very much for that incredibly generous five gift sub package much appreciated <coughs> oh man excuse me all right everybody um well, I hate to do it. I'm going to call it right here. I told myself I was going to stream as much as I could today. I'm definitely feeling a little bit under the weather like I'm getting sick or something. I'm going to go uh, rest up and I'll catch you guys for some flex streams over the next couple days before we do it up again. Apologies once again for our shorter than scheduled broadcast, but <laughs> I'm devastated right now. I'll catch you guys in the next couple days for some flex streams. Uh, until next time, keep it damper and be good to each other. That's all I got for today. Much love, everyone. Thanks for making this such an amazing place to hang out and share some time. Look forward to doing it again soon. Thank you. Have a great one, everyone. See you again soon.